a device that billions of people would love to have in the winter, created from the broken evaporator of an old refrigerator. Can you believe it? Let's explore this clever homemade heating trick using only common items found around the house. After cutting the parts, these two tubes are straightened and expanded. They only need to be wide enough for a copper tube to fit inside. The next item is an old 12 volt cooling fan. Something you can easily find on e-commerce sites or at any hardware store. Even though I've neglected it for a long time, it still works well. I'll also be using a few small magnets like these. At this point, the entire fan blade assembly will be removed. Around the rotor, there's still many leftover edges from fan blades. I need to remove all of them completely. Once every remaining piece of the fan blades is trimmed off, I'll attach the magnets around the rotor using hot glue to keep them firmly in place. This number of magnets is enough. Here, I prepared a large roll of tape whose size is almost the same as the cooling fan. Next is a copper tube, which will be bent around a roll of tape. Any excess length of the tube will be cut off. When a refrigerator needs a new evaporator, the old one is treated as waste. It either gets thrown away or sold to scrap shops. But trust me, watch until the end. I promise you'll be surprised by what it can become. After securing the evaporator onto a wooden base, the cooling fan is mounted right next to it. The 
the two wires of the fan will be connected to this female DC jack. I'll apply hot glue to the DC jack and secure it on the wooden base. Now the copper tube we just shaped will be attached here. But before that, I need to add some oil to the evaporator. Bicycle chain lubricant is a convenient choice. Once the copper tube is inserted, I secure it to the evaporator using two-part epoxy glue. This type of glue is specifically used for bonding metal, consisting of an epoxy resin and a hardener. When mixed in the right ratio, they create an extremely strong adhesive that can handle high stress, resist water, heat corrosion, and remain durable over time. And just like that, the heating device is complete. When magnets are added around the rotor, the motor's original magnetic field changes, causing the rotor to face much greater resistance. This makes the stator coils draw more current, generate more heat, and the iron core loses additional energy through magnetic losses. With no fan blades left to dissipate heat, the temperature builds up and transfers through the copper tube into the evaporator spreading outward just like a mini electric heater. As you can see from the thermometer test, the temperature of this homemade heater is rising rapidly. What do you think about my idea? If you find it useful, please give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss the next videos. Thank you so much.